Hello. Hello, dog. Hello. Oh, what a good dog. You're a good dog. <sighs> okay, today I'm heading to Ephesus. Oh God, what's this? Is this an ancient rock cut tomb? Maybe it's just the back room of someone's house. This was the cistern of their house. All right, back on the road. Looks like we've got some monumental ruins over here. Getting real close to Ephesus now. Ephesus. Hell yeah, here we are. Made it to Ephesus. He's a good little Ephesian dog. Hmm? He's a good dog. Look. Oh yeah. He's a good dog. What a stunning Ionic capital. Look at this early Christian cross. I wonder when they added that. So this was the Odeon Concert Hall. Check out that orchestra pit down there. Asian cat. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah. Guy wants to take a photo of me. No, what's up? Uh, email, email, uh, no, no, email. I have nothing. Email? Nothing. Uh, Facebook? No contact. No contact. No contact. Okay, tr transfer. It's okay, it's okay. You keep, you keep photo. 
Ah, oh, he wanted to sell me a photo. <laughs> okay. Probably should have guessed. I thought he just was a photographer and thought I looked really photogenic standing here in the ruins and he wanted a picture of me. Ooh. He was a hustler. Imagine what this place used to look like. And there were giant columns right here. What a stunning ancient street. New drinking game. Take a shot every time I say ancient. Be sure to get plastered. Wow, look at those ancient carvings. Oh my, this antique relief is just here in situ. Can you imagine the grandeur of this place back in the day? This only gives us a little glimpse. Check out this relief. Completely stunning. Wow, he's wearing a lion head. How incredible. I can be confident that this is the original. No copies here. They wouldn't dare. Imagine the shop fronts along here. Insane. Check out that spolia. They just shove it in. Was this some kind of sewage system or an aqueduct just running through the house? This place was advanced, man. Ancient drain. Oh, wow. Look at these incredible mosaic floors. incredible patterns. Ah, here's one of the showpiece ruins. 
So many apses and arches, posts and lintels. This place is a dream. Those reliefs up there are stunning. This place is pretty crowded even in the off season. It'd be like Disneyland in the on season. Oh wow, public toilets. Here we go. Well, I guess this has been put here so you can see what it used to look like. They would have shat down there. That's great. And here's an ancient marble slab. I assume this was the original toilet seat. Culturally, they didn't feel the same way we did about privacy. Shitting together was a communal act. Everyone did it, and it was normal. Wow, look at that spolia. It's like they've just shoved a little fragment of an ionic capital into the wall. I love that. Wow, look at this sarcophagus. I wonder what elitist got to be buried in that. Hell yeah. Look at those calves. Calves, helmet, sword. What else do you need as a Roman soldier? And here we are. One of the most famous ruins in Turkey. detail on this is incredible. Truly the greatest ruins I have ever seen. This 
this must have been some kind of forum. Huge public square. Boy. Pipe segments. Is this how they ran water through walls? Oh, look at that. I gotta say, spolio has gotta be my favorite thing. Look at that column embedded in the wall down there. I'd love to climb this Ephesian crane, get a good overview, but yeah, no. I'd get in so much trouble. They're all over this place. Look at that ancient pipe. It's so tempting. It would be so easy to just hop up that and start climbing. Yeah. I'm not doing it. Maybe some other day. Some other crane. Okay, I assume I can go past this. What a grand theater. Looks like it's been rebuilt. Amazing how well I can hear the people down there. Ancient acoustics at work. All right, I'm gonna run down this thing. Well, that was fun. Ancient Swastikarian design. Little Ephesian cat. Hello. Hello, little carnivora. You're a good little carnivora, aren't you? Yeah. You're a good little cat. Very good little cat. For he who has ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. You know how it says that in Revelations? Church of the Ephesians was one of those churches. We're making it to the apocalypse with this one. Speaking of the Church of the Ephesians, Church of Mary, let's go have a look. Nice sarcophagi down there. Church of Mary is this way. Looks like I've stumbled into one of the more overgrown sections of Ephesus. That looks like it's about to fall over at any second. Wow. It's just overgrown down there. Stunning. Look at this capital. Gigantic columns buried. That's the Ephesus airport very close by for FIFO tourists. Fly in, fly out. Wait, am I even supposed to be here? Because no one else is here. 
Maybe it's just one of the hidden sections. So here we are, the Church of Mary. Could this have been the Church of the Ephesians mentioned in Revelations? Maybe it was, maybe it got built as a replacement. Check out this baptismal font. Imagine getting baptized here. That'd be pretty cool. Three special babies. Yeah, this probably wasn't the actual church of the Ephesians. That would have been probably in someone's basement or something back then. Christianity wasn't legal when Revelations was written. So. Yeah, this must have come later, once Christianity was a big, thriving, official Roman religion. Tiu of Kolpi. Point. IMAX Libra Amazing how our letters haven't changed in 2,000 years. Jeez, this must have been a very special chamber. Circular, all these large relief crosses. And this pit in the middle. I wonder what took place in here. Just had to do that. All right, this has been Ephesus. I'll have a part two exploring all the other ruins around the city. See you then.